Good afternoon. This is Dr. Thaddeus Rajewowski of the Piast Institute. The Piast Institute is a national center for Polish and Polish American studies. The month of March has been an exciting one for the Institute. We have been doing a lot of research on the current state of the Polish American community and are preparing to publish a new compendium of materials on the demography of the community, which have appeared in the latest iteration of the U.S. Census Bureau's American Community Survey. A new edition comes out every year, and so we try to update it to make sure that we know what the Polish community is, where it is, and uh, what its level of income and education are. But one of the most important things we did this month was to go to a meeting at the John Paul II Center. I'm a member of the National Polish Catholic Apostolate, which deals with uh, the faith of Polish Americans in the United States. The John Paul II Center was created by Cardinal Maida for uh, the study and commemoration of the life of John Paul II, Karl Wojtyla. The center ran into some difficulties in terms of funding, and so the center was sold to the Knights of Columbus, who agreed to maintain it. The transfer of ownership also brought with it a transfer of, of, uh, of materials, but some of the materials that the center contained, such as personal gifts of people to the center uh, with memorabilia about Pope John Paul II uh, were removed because uh, the center was now owned by the Knights of Columbus. So people took back their private collections. Most of these documented the Polish heritage of this great saint. Um, and as a result, it diminished the amount of the story that was told at the center about John Paul II's Polish background, that distinctive Catholic culture that shaped him and the experience of Poland in the 20th century, which marked his thought, his creativity and his compassion. So one of the interests we have is in the Polish apostolate in the name of the, of the Polish community in the United States is how do we preserve that? The center will tell the story of John Paul II and his papacy and his life, but we want it also to reflect this real contribution that his Polish background made to shaping the man and the saint. So we met with the Knights of Columbus, with Mr. Uh, Kelly, who is now the head of the center, and we we're very pleased with the way in which they have taken over the center and have attempted to preserve the story of the Pope. They've added new sections. There will be a beautiful new chapel, meeting rooms, uh, new opportunities to purchase materials dealing with the life of the Pope. And they agreed with us that the Polish community in the United States, all nine million of us, nine and a half million, uh, who are so interested in the life of the Pope will be involved. Now, one of the important things is to continue to tell the Polish story. And they agreed that there will be a recreation of some of the materials uh, and some of the exhibits that were taken down when the center was bought and now that the, the refurbishing of the center is going on. It will be an elegant center. But as we pointed out to the Knights of Columbus, this is not something they are doing for us, for the Polish community, but in fact, that they're doing for all of America. Uh, this is a memory that has to be preserved. And also what they're doing for the Knights of Columbus, because there's no community that supports the story of John Paul II more than the Polish American community. This is where they will draw their audiences and it's through the Polish American community that the story of the center will go out. History dims all memories. 
we are already 10 years after the death of the Pope, and we've had several Popes. People forget those stories. Young people are born who don't remember it personally. And so the one community we know in America that does know the story and that does want to remember it and does want it told is the Polish American community. So this is a natural partnership between the Knights of Columbus and the Polish American community. The journey to tell this story and to keep it alive is just beginning. We in the National Catholic Polish Apostolate will continue to work with the center and try to involve the Polish American community. And in perhaps in future reports, I will tell you of the progress of the center and certainly will announce when it's ready to present the story of the Pope again to the American people in a new and we hope uh, ethnically sensitive way so that the story tells the universal story of a saint but also his distinct Polish background. Thank you.